Hi, Ray. Your assignment today is simple. You just have to listen to me and fill out the first page and only the first page of this handout, just this. So as you listen to the video, you can, you'll can you get the answers to all these questions. And it's about a box, the forces on a box on a ramp. And um, let's do a little review. What you, uh, so yeah. Okay, so what have you know so far that when a force acts at an angle, well, this then it exerts a force horizontally. It has a horizontal component. It has a vertical component. And as the angle gets bigger and bigger, the vertical component gets bigger, and the horizontal component gets smaller. That's simple. That's basic. And uh, so you're pretty familiar with this. Okay. We're going to take it to the next level. This is uh, going to get a little tougher. And remember what I always tell you. Get as much as you can on the first pass. With AP Physics, it's a process. You don't get things immediately, but you get it as you hear it again and again and again. And this is just the first pass. So if you pick up a little bit, that's good. So once again, all you have to do is listen to me and fill out this sheet right here. Um, if you printed it out, it may look different. It may have the same title, but you may see this box a little lower. Don't worry. Your print, you don't have to print everything out again. Your pick, if your ramp, this is a little low in the page, fine. It just has to say inclined planes, free body diagram. So, so in this presentation, we will look at a box, the forces on a box on a ramp. And uh, I'm going to start with um, a little animation that looks like, where are you? Right there. Here. Okay, you've got a yellow box on a green ramp, and you've got a weight force, an orange weight force. Now, if these are different components. This weight force has two components, a component of the weight force that causes the yellow box to press on the green ramp, and the same weight force causes the yellow box to want to slide down the green ramp. So these are perpendicular components, but they're components like you've never seen. They're twisted. Um, so that's why it's going to be a little tricky, tricky for you, but I think you'll pick it up. So here's a weight force, always act straight down. This is the weight force on the box, and this weight force causes the yellow box to press on the green ramp, and this weight force causes the yellow box to want to go down the green ramp. Okay, watch what happens when we make the angle smaller. This component gets bigger, and this component gets smaller. The, they call it the parallel component and the perpendicular component. So as you get smaller and smaller and smaller, when you get to zero degrees, the entire box presses on the ramp, and there's no parallel component. There's only a perpendicular component. Um, the weight force is still straight down. It's no longer orange because now the entire weight force is pressing, causing the box to press on the ramp. Now watch what happens when the ramp gets when the when the angle gets bigger and bigger. Which gets bigger? The parallel component gets bigger, and the perpendicular component gets smaller. Now, what is the perpendicular component? The part of the weight force that 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 represents how much the box, the yellow box, presses on the green ramp. What's the parallel component? The part of the weight force that makes the box want to slide down the uh, ramp. Let's see what happens when we make it bigger. Look at the parallel component gets bigger and bigger, bigger, and eventually, if we make the ramp 90 degrees, now the entire weight force acts down the ramp and parallel component, which is the parallel component. And notice that there's no more perpendicular component because the weight force acts completely down. Uh, it does not act on the ramp at all. So like I said, I told you this is going to be a little tricky. So try to absorb what you can. So I'll say it again because, ready? A weight force has two components. Parallel component represent how much the weight for force acts down the ramp and a perpendicular component how much the weight force causes the box to press on the ramp. So let's take another look at this in my notes. Well, right over here. So you have a cart on a ramp. It's not a box, but a cart. And um, well, that weight force, the black weight force, causes the box, the cart, to press on the ramp. And that's represented by this component called the perpendicular component. And this same weight force causes the cart to want to go down the ramp. This is the parallel component. And uh, I think we'll leave it at that because then it could get too complicated. So let's go back to the handout. So 
the weight force on a block acts on the weight force on the block. There you go. Acts on the ramp uh, and down the ramp. So this has a parallel component and a perpendicular component, the weight force. Now, what I want you to do is actually label this weight force right there. Label that weight force. Um, the other thing, you know, you know what I'm going to do? Here we go. I want you to label it weight force. And I want you to label this little angle. Whenever I talk about the ramp angle, I'm always talking about this angle right in here. So weight force and ramp angle, a box on a ramp. Let's see what you remember. The force the box exerts on the ramp, on the ramp, is called which component? The box's force on the ramp because of the weight force is which component? Well, the answer is it's the perpendicular component. That's what you circle, perpendicular. Let's look at that again in the notes. There's a weight force, a black weight force, and it has two components, a perpendicular component and parallel component. The perpendicular component is the component of the weight force that causes the car to press on the ramp. So there we go. So the answer, the, the next answer, so this is what you want to choose. The force, the box's force on the ramp is the perpendicular component of the weight force. Okay. Um, now I want you to take that picture and turn it into this picture. We have the black wave force. And then look what I did. I broke it down into two components. I know it looks different from my picture. There's the parallel component. So get a ruler and see, this is a right triangle. Make a right triangle where this is the hypotenuse. Again, I know this is tricky and we're going to go over it again and again. So make a right triangle. See, there's the 90 degrees. Turn this picture into right triangle by doing the parallel component and the perpendicular component. The part of the weight force that acts parallel to the ramp and the part of the weight force that acts to cause the box to press on the ramp. So reproduce that picture with these labels. So I'll give you a little time and reproduce that picture with a ruler. You can maybe freeze it and also create an XY coordinate. I told you this was a little tricky. Like I said, um, do your best to understand it. All right, let's see what you can do. Which ra what ramp angle causes, should be causes, causes the boxes for, the boxes for, which ramp angle causes the boxes force on the ramp to be the greatest? Which ramp angle would causes the boxes force on the ramp to be greatest? Let's take a look. The, I, ho I hope you said, the box's force on the ramp is greatest at zero degrees. There you go. There's your answer. The box's force, which ramp angle causes the box's force on the ramp to be the greatest? Zero degrees. Well, if zero degrees is the greatest, the box's greatest force on the ramp, which one is going to be the smallest? Which ramp angle will be the smallest? Let's go Let's check it. I hope you said, when does the box press on the ramp the least? when the ramp angle is 90 degrees. So we'll go over here and the boxes force on the, on the ramp will be least at 90 degrees. This should be, we just gotta get rid of that. There we go, 90 degrees, okay. Which ramp angle would cause the force that the box exerts on the ramp to be equal to the box, to, to the force that the box exerts down the ramp? What do I mean? Which ramp angle would make the parallel and perpendicular component the same? It's right over. Well, I can't quite get it, but you can see I can't get it 45 degrees, but the force, the component down the ramp and on the ramp is equal when it's 45 degrees, which I can't get. Oh, there it is right there, 45 degrees. So let's go back over here. Which ramp angle would cause the force that the box exerts on the ramp to be equal to the force that the box exerts down the ramp? When would they be equal at 45 degrees? Okay, which ramp angle angle with the now normal force? There's a there's a word I think I briefly mentioned, but let's define it. Which ramp angle would the normal force of the ramp equal the weight force? Okay, what's the normal force? Well, that's not even shown on here. Normal force, well, let me give you a definition you can copy down. It's the upward supporting force on an object. When, if you're sitting in a chair watching this, what's the normal force on you? It's the chair's force on you. What's the normal force on the box? It's the ramp's force on the box. So when does the ramp's force on the box 
equal the weight force, only one place does the normal force equal the weight force. Right now, the box applies a, the weight force on the ramp, and the ramp applies the same force in the box. Now, it's a lot of stuff you got right here. Like, again, just maybe listen to it a second time and you'll get it. Let's take the last question. The larger the ramp angle, the smaller or the larger the normal force. What's the normal force? It's the ramp's force on the box. So when is the ramp's force on the box the biggest? I'll tell you what, it's not here because now the ramp does not apply a force to the box. The greatest normal force of the ramp's force on the box occurs right over here. The answer is the law, uh, oops. So the, the question is the larger the ramp angle, the smaller the normal force. The larger the ramp angle, the smaller the force. Let's let's recap. Like I said, I know this is really a lot. When a box is on the ramp, and there's a weight, well, there's always a weight force in a box. A box on a ramp has a weight force that causes the box to apply a, to apply a, to apply a force on the ramp, which is called the perpendicular component, which is right here, the blue force. And the box the weight force on the box also causes the box to want to slide down the ramp so it has two components two perpendicular components and when you draw it out it looks like a twisted right triangle um the let's go let's get the animation the bigger the angle the bigger the parallel component and the smaller the perpendicular component and the smaller the angle the bigger the perpendicular component and the smaller the parallel component. Right now, I'm sure your head's spinning. But when we get into, into class, we'll do it all again. We'll see how you did. So that is just the first page of your handout. And that's all I need you to do. Um, you can certainly send me some questions if you got any questions.